In the last section, we were introduced to the field of health economics. In this section, we will discuss why this field of research is important to Canadian health systems. Canada's health system is mainly publicly financed using tax revenues. Payment for hospitals and physician services are entrenched in the Canada Health Act. Payment for drugs, mental health services, and allied health professional services, such as dental care, vision care, and physiotherapy, are funded through a patchwork of sources, with funding coming from public insurance, private insurance, and out-of-pocket payments. In Canada, approximately $8,000 is spent per person per year on health care. Health spending has been growing as a percent of gross domestic product, or GDP, which is a measure of an economy's size, and healthcare represents the biggest line item in government budgets. Why do we need economic evaluations in health technology assessment? Resources are limited. In principle, funding one health intervention inherently means another will not be funded. There is an opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is an important term in economics. It is formally defined as the loss of value or benefit that would be incurred by engaging in that activity relative to engaging in an alternative activity offering a higher return in value or benefit. More simply, it is the cost of what is given up when one option is chosen over another. In our own lives, we understand that we have to choose what we want to purchase within our own budgets. We could take a holiday or buy a new TV, but not both. What value or utility would we get from each of these choices? These are trade-offs that must be made when we are working with fixed budgets. Governments and individuals can't pay for everything. Healthcare is already the biggest budget line item for governments. So, what do we fund? Health technology assessment helps to inform decision making. The goals are to maximize health gains, minimize opportunity costs, and allocate our limited resources most effectively. The quadruple aim was developed by the Institute for Health Improvement and has a goal of optimizing health system performance. This framework has been adopted by many health systems. Improving population health and reducing cost of care are two of the four components of the quadruple aim. Health economics is aligned with achieving these objectives. Why is it important for physicians to learn about economic evaluation? Economic evaluation is a key component of health technology assessment, which is directly used to inform resource allocation decision making. Economic evaluation may also be used independently of a formal health technology assessment and can be critical for local and institutional decision making. Health practitioner expertise helps to inform the development of economic evaluation studies and practitioners may be included in decision making panels using these tools. Economic evaluation methods are increasingly used for advocacy and for evaluation of non-drug or device health interventions or policies. Being able to understand, critique, and use economic evaluations will help healthcare providers to work effectively in resource-constrained environments and to contribute to the production of health economic research in collaboration with trained economists. We will summarize and conclude this section with some key points. Health systems have a responsibility to ensure that resources are allocated efficiently and provide good value for the investment. Economic evaluations are used to understand value for money of different health interventions and to inform decision making. Health technology assessment is a formal process for developing reimbursement recommendations and economic evaluations are a key piece of this multidisciplinary process. Healthcare providers have an important role to play in the development and application of health economic research. This concludes Section 1, Part 2. Please proceed to Part 3. What is economic evaluation?